that tarpon jumping. Back. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, brother. Well, <laughs>
we still like to keep it clean we don't want to we don't want to have a disease or we don't we don't want to feel sick you know by uh, eating something that's you know infection that's gonna uh, you know cause some sort of issues diarrhea or anything like that um, other things that we mentioned anything else um, I also um, he wants a fan he wants a fan definitely a night. he's hot definitely and I it didn't get cool till what about maybe four in the morning or something like that I mean it felt a lot cooler you actually covered yourself up a little bit but uh, man even yesterday I mean trying to fillet a huge red I stabbed myself a couple of times with the fillet knife. I ain't gonna lie, it was small stabbing. But uh, simple stuff like a first aid kit, clean yourself up, some hydrogen peroxide. I mean, who knows what's down there, all that bacteria in the water and all that. I mean, you want to make sure you're clean, so keep yourself safe. Luckily, I had my uh, first aid kit. Um, I was able to apply pressure to that and continue on with my day. I mean, continue on fishing, so. And what, and what a, man, what a day has it been since yesterday this guy I, I I'm, I'm thinking junior is the good luck charm this guy shows up and they can't stop catching bull reds it's incredible man it's awesome it's awesome you're my lucky charm bro <laughs> <laughs> anyway we're going into town we didn't want to do this but there's no other way I mean we have all we have eggs and a bunch of other uh, food that really does need ice needs to maintain uh, its temperature cool temperature and uh, it's really getting hot over here you know what a difference man when we got here it was cool and stormy and man now the beach is so clean so beautiful the water looks so beautiful right now and um, where we are right now the moon everything it's so tranquil the the the, the channel is so nice man I, I, I can't tell you how special this is. This is so awesome. What a beautiful experience. Dude. Happy birthday, brother. Thank you. Happy birthday, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you. We rolled into Port Isabel and grabbed everything we needed. When we got back, I got a pleasant surprise. Guys, I have wonderful news, man. I have a couple of viewers they're coming out here in their beautiful Rubicon Jeep and they came to pay me a visit. I am so honored. Guys, introduce yourselves, please. Hello, everyone. My name is Julio. <laughs> Julio? Yes. Lucero. Lucero. And Kenneth. And Kenneth. So they, just like me, they are trying to get out a little bit more and they're trying to see what they can learn from the locals and uh, to try to do a little overlanding perhaps some camping and explore their own backyard guys is this pretty fair to say oh yeah this is our first time and um, it's beautiful and we expect to be coming out here a lot more man what was your experience coming out here um scary in a in a little part where the water touches like a i guess like a little side yeah. of the of the sand we actually turned back tried to look for a little side trail but at the end we just went through it it's just like 50 yards but it was scary <laughs> after your experience after your experience you think you're gonna try to come out here again? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. definitely yeah. yeah. Definitely. Guys, it's, this is your backyard. If you're from the valley and you haven't been out here, you're missing out. You're missing out. But look, look, guys, Lucero, Julio, Ken, look, look, look at all this trash. Oh. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. And I don't mean to be, get judgy with anybody or whatever, but it's it, it really is painful, man. I mean. To come out here, you see this beautiful sunset, you see all this stuff, you see what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So a big part of coming out here is to have a plan on how are we going to get rid of our trash and perhaps pick up some of the existing trash, yeah. you know. Where are you guys from? Westlaco. Westlaco. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. All the way from Westlaco. All right, well, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you paying me a visit. I forgot to ask him to bring ice, man. I, I oh. really need some ice. I should have asked. I, sh I should have put that on the on the channel. Just kidding. All right. Thank you very much. He's real. He's <laughs> real. <laughs> Coastal GX subscribers Julio, Lucero, and Kenneth get it. This family is on the right path to making long-lasting memories. 
I know they'll enjoy themselves out at the East Cut, and I look forward to hearing all about their future adventures. Rick, he jumped. He jumped out of the water. He flew from the water's edge out into shore. Wow, dude. Oh I won't force you to watch the same video over again. So I invite you to watch episode 19, How to Catch a King Mackerel Without Bait, on my channel. After the kingfish excitement, things mellowed out a bit. Robert from Coastal GX is more than just outdoors and adventure. I'm also quite a romantic, so I promised my wife who I will not see for five days. I promised that at nine o'clock, I would stare at the moon. And she was gonna stare at the moon too as a gesture of me remembering her and missing her. So, witness as I stare at the moon along with my wife who is miles and miles away. I'm a romantic man. <laughs> Guys, it's dinner time at the Coastal GX campsite. And I gotta tell you, man, there's no shortage of food. Normally, I'm always telling you guys, and eh, we got T-bones and stuff. Well, there's other things on the menu, but I have the privilege. We have the privilege of having a special chef today. That's my brother, Rick. Rick. Yes, sir. What's on the menu today? We're trying to make what we already uh, caught. And so we're, we're making redfish on a half shell and we're making redfish uh, on the fillet on both sides so it's just the, the fillet by itself we did throw in a couple of other things uh, for example some veggies um, here we go we got some veggies and we got some tortillas now we uh, decided to throw in some sausage and um, some uh, jalapeno popper things wrapped with you know cream cheese and on bacon and all that oh and so that's what we're doing for for dinner tonight you know we're skipping the uh the ribeyes and we're skipping the fajitas tonight but that that'll be for you guys tomorrow night and you know it'll continue we got several days to be out here unfortunately uh me and my son mijo jorge this this is our last night you know we're leaving in the morning and so we're trying to make the best of of the last day that we have honoring your birthday and um well my brother's birthday robert yeah, but anyway, we're, we're doing good. Everything's great. And hopefully, I hope you guys like it. I've never made this red uh, redfish on a half shell thing, but put lots of garlic, lots of butter, and lots of Uncle Chris on their seasoning. Uh, we're, we are roughing it, so we are limited as far as what we have and how we do it. Uh, I don't know this barbecue pit, so I'm trying to get used to it. It's things like that. You know, it's things like that that you always have to... You, don't, you never take it into consideration until you have to go through it. And once you go through the challenge, then you realize, man, I wish I would have brought my own pit. I wish, I wish this, I wish that, I forgot this, I forgot that, I could have used this. You know, I could have done without this. You know, I just brought it just to bring it, but didn't use it, you know, and things like that. It's a, with, with the experience, you, you start understanding you know as, as far as your lifestyle or what you like because we are doing vegan stuff you know as far as also the metasora stuff yeah. so it's everybody's lifestyle and it's respected you know everybody's lifestyle is respected as long as it works it works for you that's awesome absolutely guys uh what rick is talking about you know he's mentioning some other things there's a lot of stuff that you do not need you don't need a bunch of things I guess the most important thing is that you actually get out there and do something. So remember the motto is always at Coastal GX, it's get up, get out, do something, right? So no matter, you want to go all out like we did this week, that's fine. But if that's not what you want, you just want to have something a little, you know, like, I don't know, a little low scale or, you know, whatever, whatever fits you, but take baby steps. Okay, take baby steps and then you'll go ahead and, and start developing your own taste for camping out, okay. whether it's hunting, fishing, or simply photography or just enjoying nature, getting out there and 
understanding that you have a beautiful backyard, man. We have the valley. We're rich, man. We are rich in uh, so many things. I mean, when it comes to nature, things that we know very little about. Come on, baby shark. Coming up on Coastal GX. Daddy shark is waiting for you at home. We catch and release a black tip shark on day four. Once again, thank you for watching. Your support is invaluable. So please subscribe, like, and share if you enjoy our content.